hello, welcome to this FCPX tutorial. In this tutorial, I am going to show you how to um, how to create your intro, 3D intro, to create a 3D intro in FCPX, and then turn that 3D intro into a, um, a logo that you could sort of put in the corner of your screen, you know, in the corner of your timeline down here. Sorry, in the corner of your um, video sort of um, preview, um, so that you could use as branding for yourself, for your videos, whatever it is you want to do. I've done it in motion before and I'm going to show you how to do it in FCPX and it's also going to be 3D. So let's get on and do that. So I'm just going to use a still image um, that is going to be um, my my video, shall we say. So I'm just going to make it a, a minute long as well. I'm just going to drag the timeline out. So all I've done is created a new project and I've dragged this still image, and now you can just imagine this is a video um, sort of clip that you've dragged into your timeline. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go to my text over here, and I'm going to find um, 3D Basic. You could even have Custom 3D. Let's, let's, let's find um, 3D Basic. Let's have 3D Basic. You could have Custom 3D. I'm just going to use um, Basic 3D. And I'm going to drag this into my timeline also to the start. And I am going to drag it out to be a, um, a minute long, the same as my video clip. Because I want my Basic 3D. Remember, I'm going to turn it from an intro as it is now, um, or as it will be, into a logo that sort of comes to the corner of my screen or whichever wherever you want it to go on your screen but made much smaller and go to um, somewhere to brand my video so just to do that just so we haven't got this background i'm just going to highlight this um this image timeline and press v and that will disable that background or disable that clip um, and if i write if, if i sort of um, right clicked on it you could just go enable or disable with V right there. So let's work on this um, basic 3D right here. So I've got it highlighted in my timeline and everything that I'm gonna do, I am going to um, do in my um, inspector over here. So first thing at the top here, I'm gonna to want to um, look at my title. Now in the title, if I drag my timeline to the start, and play it through, you'll notice it already comes in in a certain sequence. And likewise, it will go out in a certain sequence also. So if I'm playing it through, so we could change these sequences if we wanted to, we could change them manually, um, or we could change them um, with the presets that are here. So all I'm gonna want it to do, I want it to um, tumble Tumble zoom down. Shall we have a look at that? Let's let's have a look at what happens if we do that. Tumble zoom down. It happens quite quickly. So we're gonna. Um, yeah, actually, I'm 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 fine with it happening. You know, with it, it, it doing this transition quite quickly, and it will just do the same backwards to um to sort of of go out. Okay, so do exactly the same. Tumble down, but it'll backwards to go out um, at the end of that minute so during the time during the um, during the main sort of video nothing's going to happen with it so we can animate it um, we can animate it in a, in a, in a little while before we um, before we go on and animate it we're just going to change this text a little bit now on this text you can see that it's already self lit so there's lighting already applied to it so we're not going to mess about with any lighting when we come to the lighting parts we're just going to leave the lighting as it is um, and we're going to try and keep this really basic um, but um, but effective also so the first thing we're going to want to do is go to my text here and change my text to um, the, the, the text that I desire I've changed it there and then what I'm going to do is um, if you want to change the change the font obviously you change the font you just select the font whichever font it is and um, you change the size of the font the alignment and in the advanced um, it just changes the line spacing so how close the, um, the the text is together I'm, I'm happy with everything as it is at the moment all I'm going to do is change the depth of my 3d 
and I'm going to change it to um, to, to 60 so type in 60 press enter and then the um, you can see this this 3d here is is quite thick now um, I really don't want it that thick so I'm gonna go 40 and a lot of it is trial and error um, so let's go 40 and, and I'm a lot happier with this text where do I want the tep the depth direction um, well I want it backwards but again you can mess around with and you will see the um, what happens to the text when you change the depth direction actually no I don't want it backwards I just want it centered it doesn't really do too much of a, um, a difference the weight the weight is just the thickness of the text so if I dragged the weight up a little bit you'll see the text gets thicker and gets thicker well I'm happy with how the text is as it is so I'm just gonna leave it on zero and press enter and then the front edge bevel so on here you will have a bevel on the edge and I'm just gonna change that bevel to um, to be concave so it just adds a little bit and you can see here just on the edge of this text it just adds a little bit of detail to the text and you'll see more when I add colors we could change the edge size but I don't want to change the edge size and really a lot of it is is down to um, personal preference the material at the moment I've got it on single you can have it on multiple and that is sort of gonna be um, when you mess around with the colors it's gonna be um, sort of like a, a linear sort of change if you changed it to multiple colors so like a gradient um, the substance plastic um, let's go for a, a metal but just to um, some of some of the fabrics are quite nice some of the new fabrics this, um, this sort of denim is quite is quite cool but but yeah I'm gonna go for a metal because I want a little bit more more of a, a professional feel and then here on the drop down where it says aluminium um, let's have a look at chrome chrome's quite nice it's got some quite nice lighting and you'll you'll notice the lighting is up here and we can go show and hide and we can change the lighting to um, to where we want the lighting to be but at the moment it's just on standard and that is is, is very general so that's quite a nice lighting effect when it's when it's like that and you can see the effects if you change the lighting you'll see the effects it has as you change the um, change the lighting so if you want to change the lighting um, but for me I'm just gonna leave it on um, on medium center so that's you know it's, it's fine so I've got my um, I've got my substance on metal choose your substance I've got on, on chrome the shininess I'm gonna I'm gonna crank this up to um, 96 press enter and it just makes it a little bit more shiny as you would expect thickness is on 100% it didn't need to glow didn't need to drop shadow um, so we're just gonna leave it as it is so at the moment my text the way it will look will come in like so it will just sit right there not do a thing until we get over here and then it will go out so now um, obviously we don't want it to be sat in the center the whole time because we're gonna want to change it from our um, intro like so into our logo while it's sat here doing nothing so um, so yeah let's move on and do that okay like I said we're gonna move on to now let's um, let's animate our logo a little bit while it's um, while it's just sat in the corner of our screen doing nothing I know it's in the middle at the moment we'll change it to the corners in a second so we're gonna go over here to our um, to our text where we selected our text and we'll go to this effects um, browser right here I'm gonna select effects and then we're gonna um, there's a few that we could choose you could choose bad TV um, but I'm just gonna use um, just 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 for um, just for ease I'm gonna use flashing all right so I'm gonna drag this flashing onto this basic 3d so right away it will flash from the start um, it will keep flashing which you could add on your um, on your intro if you like so it's come in we've used it as the intro it's flashed there maybe we want to turn down the flashing a little bit so what we need to do is go to um, go to our video 
and um, here's the flashing right here so if I turned it off it would stop flashing this little blue button so I've turned it back on and I've dragged the intensity down to um, just around 50% so now when it when it flashes it's just gonna be 50% that even might be a little bit too much as well so let's turn it down again to around 26 let's have a look what's going on there a little bit better although I would still turn it down a little bit more down to 10 still more 2.7 Okay, that's that's okay, and then I'll um, I'll keyframe that there. So I've gone to my intensity and I've pressed this little keyframe right there. So about here is where we're going to move it down. So I'll move the the keyframe up to around just just another second or so, and then I've turned this intensity right down to zero. So now we've got um, got this on zero. So our intro comes in flashing turns down to zero and then what we're going to do we're going to move this to a different position okay and the you could move it by this by these um, by these little buttons here like so I'm not going to do that the way I'm going to do it I'm going to select this little button right here this transform button and then I'm going to drag in my timeline where I want my my um, sort of intro to stop, if you like, and my um, and my logo to begin. So for it to get smaller, and it's going to be around around here. I'm going to click keyframe on that. I'm going to move my timeline up just a couple of split seconds. I'm going to make my text smaller by grabbing these corners like so and drag these corners and then I'm going to drag my text down into the corner where I want it to be okay and then I'm going to click done so that is me now done so my intro will be like so my logo will move down into the corner so now I've got a branded logo now every so often I'm going to want this flashing to start again just to remind people that that's my logo or that's my brand and it is there so it's an animated type of brand so I'm going to drag up in my timeline I'm going to click my keyframe button on my flash intensity little plus button like so I'm going to drag up a little bit more in my timeline drag the intensity up just a little bit not too much drag up a little bit more in my timeline and drag the intensity back down and every so often keyframe drag the intensity up move along in my timeline drag the intensity back down move up in my timeline keyframe remember the keyframe before move up a little bit more then move the intensity move up a little bit more drag the intensity down and then as soon as I move this timeline the keyframe will deselect itself you see so that's roughly where I want to go with that and now I'm going to sort of come out and do an outro if you like so about here um, towards the end of my timeline I'm going to click the transform button again I'm going to keyframe it little keyframe up here I'm going to move up in my timeline. So I'm doing a few things at once with my Mac, so it's quite memory extensive using 3D text, FCPX, recording, and downloading updates. And then I'm going to drag it a little bit bigger, like so. And as I move up in my timeline, the outro will kick in. Okay, so let's have a look at that. Excellent. 
Now, all we need to do is to make my um, main video clip um, tune in nicely or, or nice and um, work nicely with my intro into my logo into my outro. So I'm going to highlight it, press V to activate it again. But what I'm going to do with it selected, I'm going to go to my opacity and drag it right down. Okay, then I'm going to click keyframe while my text is still on my screen. I'm going to move along. When my text starts dropping out of my screen, like so, I'm going to bring the opacity back up and it will auto keyframe itself. Okay, just going to click done to get rid of these little um, handles around the outside. So now this will look quite nice as it goes away then my video starts and all I'm going to do is reverse what I've just done for the video going out so click keyframe while it's at its full intensity and as this comes in I'm then going to turn the opacity down so the video fades out and it looks a bit like so Okay, so then you go into your outro, put some music over the top of it, and it's um, it's really simple. So this is Opti Opt. I hope you um, enjoyed the tutorial. If you have any issues, any dramas, um, please drop a comment, let me know. Speak to you soon. Bye.